During the 10 years Equinet has existed, it has provided peer support, not only substantially but morally, to all national equality bodies. It has provided training, it has strengthened the knowledge on equality and equal treatment among the EU national member states. It has initiated a very good and strong dialogue with EU Commission and other EU agencies to promote and protect equality. And it has enabled to have a platform for national equality bodies to be able to do what it is meant to do to actually, on national level, protect citizens against discrimination. Equinet makes that all equality bodies can be leaders in their respective countries. And this is also very important to gain the visibility at national level, to share best practices with the national stakeholders gained in the work of Equinet in different working groups and conferences and seminars. The mission of Econet is to make the hard work which is done in the respective countries visible all across Europe. We have really built, I believe, a strong network where sharing experiences, learning from each other is very strongly embedded in how we work and we also are helpful and authoritative in speaking into the EU equality agenda and providing uh, the experience and the expertise and the ideas of those of us working on the ground to promote equality at national level into the EU policy debate. An efficient use of our network has been to get insights and feedback from the range of national equality bodies across the member states on the actual enforcement of the EU equal treatment directives and legislation to get learnings from this experience on progress, barriers to implementation, maybe gaps remaining. I believe this link is vital as national equality bodies in their core function as independent watchdogs for equality as provided by the EU directives are the eyes and the ears but also the feet on the ground and the hands out there reaching out to citizens when it comes to protecting from discrimination and implementing EU law and rights in practice. Equinet does a very good job in highlighting some of the issues experienced by equality bodies. One of them is around issues to do with independence, issues to do with effectiveness, including, for example, the level of resources that might be available to equality bodies. The very important mission for the current board, and I think also for the next board, is to ensure that all equality bodies in, the, in the Europe will be independent, will work effectively, they will have sufficient resources for all activities they should do to, to change societies, to ensure that all standards, those standards, are adopted and they are part of European legislation. Let's remember what it is all about. It's about protecting citizens against discrimination.